Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Sala Light Station in Tel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, women are characterized by the ability to use the languages of mind, heart, and hands. Patriarch Theophilus presided over the rites of the sanctification of the oil blessing of the King of Britain. Latin Patriarchate congratulates the launch of the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan. A ceremonial ceremony for Bishop Mar Antimos Jack Yaqub to enter the Holy City. We also have appointment of Father Ibrahim Nafa as spiritual counselor of the Marian Fraternities. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis received a number of women from different religions. During the meeting, His Holiness praised the ability of women to use three languages together, the language of the mind, heart, and hands. The Holy Father continued by saying that women think about what they feel, and this is a great thing, as they have the ability to think and manage things differently from men, and maybe even better than men, which is what we see in the Vatican as well. When women were asked for help, things changed and went forward. The ladies pointed out that they are one team that come from different backgrounds, religions, and jobs. And they described the diversity as a strength of their life journey. His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem and all the works of Jordan and Palestine, presided over the rites of sanctifying the oil, which will be used in the blessing of His Majesty the British King Charles III on the 6th of next May. His Beatitude the Patriarch of Jerusalem was followed in separate rites by Bishop Hussam Naoum, Archbishop of the Evangelical Church in Jerusalem. These rites took place in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, in the presence of a group of bishops and priests, Archbishop Justin Welby of England thanked his beatitude for providing the blessing of oil, which reflects the connection of the royal family's roots to the Holy Land. Archbishop Welby concluded his statement by saying, As we prepared to bless His Majesty the King and the Queen, I pray to God to guide and strengthen them with the Holy Spirit. On the other hand, the heads of churches in the Holy City renewed their call for immediate calm in the Palestinian territories and issued a statement saying, We patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem are saddened by the recent escalation of the cycle of violence in the Holy Land. The statement pointed out that these painful developments call for an immediate de-escalation of existing tensions and a final solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. In accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy, the heads of churches in Jerusalem added that we are with all people of goodwill. We will pray to the Lord for peace and justice in our holy land, where everyone is suffering because of this long and painful conflict. His Excellency Bishop Jamal Khadr, Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, presided over a festive mass to bless the new launch of the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan. In the presence of its Secretary General in the Kingdom, Dr. Nabil Khurman, a number of priests, deacons and nuns and a group of educational events planners. The celebration took place in the Church of the Good Shepherd at the center of Our Lady of Peace of the Latin Patriarchate near Airport Road. The heads of tribal associations in the city of Hayes visited the Latin Archdiocese in Amman, during which they met his beatitude, Bishop Jamal Khadr, and the Secretary General of the Diocese, Father Imad Alamat, in the presence of the priest of the Latin parish in Fuhais, Father Imad Atwal, and Father Matthew. The heads of the association stressed during the meeting the importance of continuous communication between the tribal associations in the city of Fuhais with the various apostolic churches in the kingdom. The visiting delegation gave a detailed explanation of the most prominent activities and events implemented by the associations in partnership with various local community institutions in the city, as they raised before his beatitude a number of issues of interest to the city at the pastoral and educational levels. Archmandrite Christophorus presided over the service of the first prayer of praise to the Mother of God in the church of the entry of the Master into the temple in Amman, in which he transferred to the faithful parish the blessing of his beatitude Archbishop Christophorus, Metropolitan of Jordan, for the Greek Orthodox. In the service sermon, the economist Ibrahim Dabur spoke saying, The dynasty of Adam was stopped by the birth of God, the word from the Virgin Mary, to be the new Adam. And we are by him a new creation, striving and seeking to return to paradise by virginity and holy fasting. Archimandrite Christophorus was assisted in the service by a number of priests and deacons in the presence of a group of believers. In the first week of Lent, the service of the Holy Mass was held at the site of Calvary in Jerusalem, where the ordination of Deacon Stavros Aranki as a priest took place by the hands of His Excellency the Greek Orthodox Archbishop of Pella, Kyrios Philomenos, 
During the Mass, His Excellency the Bishop read the prayer for the laying on of the hand, and then the voices of the worshippers were raised, saying, Worthy, worthy. After the Mass, the new priest went with the Bishop and the Fathers to the Patriarchal House to be granted the blessing of His Beatitude Patriarch Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III. Also in the Holy City, and amid a solemn official and popular presence, a ceremonial ceremony was held for the official entry of His Eminence Bishop Mar Antimos Jaak Yaqub after his appointment as Patriarchal Vicar of the Archdiocese of Jerusalem, Jordan, and all of the Holy Land. The procession set off on foot to the tunes of the Syriac Scout Band from the Jaffa Gate Square, heading to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where he was received by representatives of the church heads and official delegations, and a large crowd of welcomers. Then his procession went to the Armenian Church, where he was received by the representatives of the Armenian Orthodox Patriarchate in Jerusalem. In turn, Bishop Yaqub expressed his happiness with the great hospitality with which he was received, stressing that the most important thing that binds us is to work to be one church with one heart and sincere faith. In a fatherly message addressed by His Excellency Bishop Jamal al-Khadr, Patriarch Vicar of the Latin in Jordan, to Father Ibrahim Nafa, through which he assigned him to the spiritual and guidance care of the Marian Fraternities in Jordan. Nur sat in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by the Regional Director, Dr. Basim al saman and the team, extend their warmest congratulations for Father Nafa, wishing him further progress in the service of the Catholic Church. Held in the Roman Catholic Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation in Erbid, the prayer, O Lord of the Troops, which is held daily in the same church throughout the time of Lent. The prayer was presided over by Father Ghaleb Bawab, accompanied by the choir, who gave a wonderful performance with songs of faith and melodious melodies, amid the presence of a number of believers. This prayer included different rituals, hymns of reverence, chanted in the time of the Holy Lent, as it is a call to the necessity of examining ourselves in an abstract and objective manner by saying, Lord of the forces, be with us, as we don't have anyone in the sorrows but you. It is a call addressed to us to be free from the shackles of our daily lives, with repentant hearts and sincere intentions to obtain the mercy of the Lord. At the invitation of the Association of Christians of the East in Jordan, Dr. Haider Halase gave a lecture in the hall of the Husun Cooperative Society in Amman, which was entitled Arab Christians in the Arabian Peninsula before the advent of Islam. Dr. Halase confirmed in his lecture, which was attended by a number of those interested in historical affairs, that Christianity entered the Arabian Peninsula around the 4th century AD, and that the disciples of Christ are the first to preach the Christian religion in the Arabian Peninsula and help the people of the region in their economic and social renaissance, and blended in their culture. A large part of the population has embraced the Christian religion, so churches and monasteries were established in various cities. Christians also had and still have a prominent role in the renaissance of the Arab nation in various social, economic, and political aspects. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, women are characterized by the ability to use the languages of mind, heart, and hands. Patriarch Theophilus presides over the rites of the sanctification of the oil blessing of the King of Britain. Latin Patriarchate congratulates the launch of the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan. A ceremonial ceremony for the Bishop Mar Antimos Jack Yaqub to enter the Holy City. Appointment of Father Ibrahim Nafa as Spiritual Counselor of the Marian Fraternities. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.